What do you guys think of the Series 24 minifigure series doc? What do you think? They look awesome, don't they? Oh yeah. How's it going everyone? Declan here. Today we're going to be looking at the Series 24 collectible minifigures. Is it the best CMF series we've seen yet? I don't know. It could challenge it, definitely. So yeah, we're going to be taking a detailed look into all of the minifigures coming out in this new series coming on 1st of January 2023. Exciting stuff. Okay, so here's a look then at the new for 2023 CMS series minifigure bag. And I really love the colour of this. The bright pink really makes it stand out from the rest. Um, I think it's a really great colour to have. And you can see there, you can see, have a cheeky little look at all the different minifigures. Well, not all of them, a few of the different minifigures uh, in this bag. Uh, I really, really like this new bag. It looks great um, with the question marks as well. Obviously, you don't know what you're going to get. Well, you do if you feel around like I do but yes I really like this bag design and it's really great and it's not in a box uh, we are going to be getting minifigure series in boxes soon don't know when but they are coming so but I'm glad that it's not in a box just yet uh, so we're able to feel and see if we already have that minifigure or not so yes there's a look at the bag and it looks really awesome in my opinion so first up on this list we have the football referee and this couldn't have come at a better time because the world cup is on right now and I really like this minifigure um, it's just it's so awesome you have the red card and the yellow card uh, which is a great accessory and also the football as another accessory and then you have the nice referee kit that she has on and she has on her wrist her time her watch uh, to see what time it is you know during the match she got the whistle the pen and also the headset so she can talk to the linesman and VAR and the uh, other officials around the pitch which is really cool and then I also like the shorts and the football boots that she's got on as well and I think it's a great little uh, mini figure to have especially at this time as well whilst the World Cup's going on and once this is released in the 1st of January um, you know, World Cup will just be gone but not forgotten definitely won't be forgotten so yeah no it's a great little mini figure to have I've never really seen a football referee in mini figure form so yes very happy with that Okay, so next up we have the Robot Warrior, and wow, look at this minifigure, so bright, so vivid, it is so awesome, and look at that gun, that gun looks to have at least about 10 pieces, so yeah, it's going to be quite a heavily pieced accessory, that uh, gun, and it looks awesome, it's got some roller skates on there, it looks really cool, that gun, um, but also the headpiece, have you seen that headpiece, that headpiece is really, really nice, uh, the face looks like it's going to be cool, nice black and yellow eyes, uh, Awesome this set, uh, this set, this minifigure is. Um, it's so bright. That's the I love that about this um, minifigure. It is so bright, you know, with the pink and white and green. I feel like them colours go really well together. Um, the printing as well. The printing is magnificent. It's printing absolutely everywhere and all different kinds of it. I can't really explain what I'm seeing. I'm just seeing a lot of armour of the robot, but it looks really, really cool with the pink hands as well. I really, really like this minifigure. It's a great um, addition to the. CMS series and wow, I'm very happy with that robot. And the next minifigure, I'm very excited to see this one. The new classic space astronaut color, the brown spaceman and the blue space baby. Oh my goodness. They made a new classic uh, space color with the brown. It looks awesome. It is just basic and it throws it back to to the old spacemen uh, but the best part about this is that they've added a space baby it is just so awesome it's just too cute isn't it it is too cute and it's definitely going to be popular with everyone uh, i reckon it's going to be the one of the most popular minifigures from this series and it's just i really really like it you also get like the little phone as well which is really really cool wow i love that minifigure Okay, so next up we have the carrot mascot and this is such an awesome costume minifigure. We always love the costume minifigures, uh, but another food themed costume minifigure. This time, a very well overdue carrot minifigure. I just love it. I love it. It is awesome. Just the whole... <laughs> yeah, no, I really like it. Looks like underneath he's got some farmer's costume on it, looks like. Uh, but then costume i mean farmers like dress and um, outfit on and then he's got the carrot just the carrot looks awesome in itself and he looks happy underneath and then also you get the accessory of the farmer's market sign as well and it just looks it's, i always love the costume ones they just make me laugh and they just they're one of my favorites so yeah this is a great carrot one and i'm happy that we got this one 
So next up we have the Falconeer and Castle and Black Falcon fans are going to go nuts over the Falconeer. I love her new awesome Black Falcons with torso and legs and she comes with an actual Black Falcon. It is just incredible. And I also love the glove that she has on her left hand, you know, like the big thick glove that people have to wear whilst holding Falcons. Just small details like that which make these minifigures. Just look at them. The cape is awesome, the bow and arrow as well as the other accessory, really cool and I really like how they integrated a red hair. It's very different, you wouldn't expect that from like a knight, um, a castle on Black Falcon minifigure, but I love how they've done that and it just, it really is awesome. I love how they give you the Black Falcon as well. Uh, this is just an amazing minifigure. Next up we have the T-Rex costume fan and oh my goodness, this is such an awesome minifigure. I love the costume of the... Lego style T-Rex. This is just absolutely amazing. Just look at it. It's a T-Rex. You you have a minifigure inside of a T-Rex costume and it just, they couldn't have done it any better. You know, we love the T-Rex of the, the Lego style T-Rex anyway and now they just made it into a minifigure costume. Perfect. They've nailed the headpiece on top and you also get the tail and the printing all over the body is really brilliant as well. So it'd be, as well, if you get multiple of these, it doesn't matter. You can make like a clone army out of T-Rex costume. Same with the carrot. You can make a clone army out of carrots. How cool would that be? That would be awesome. Next up we have the Orc. Another awesome army builder minifigure. You also might recognize the symbol on his shield from Lego Fantasy Zero. Any of you remember that? I do. Certainly. And I love that uh, shield piece. That shield piece is brilliant, isn't it? Just look at it, it's so bright and vivid and the, the way that it's shaped is really nice as well. I also love his sword and his cape, uh, which are very rugged and look like they've been through war as well. Giving it that pr pure detail and I also love his headpiece with that jaw of the, the like, ogre style. I don't know how to explain it, but it just looks awesome. Uh, I love the hairpiece as well, making it look very warrior-esque. Okay, so next up we have the Conservationist, and Australians are going to be delighted about this one. An adorable koala animal and a tribute to Steve Irwin, maybe? I don't know. It kind of looks like Steve Irwin as well, you know? Uh, so maybe we're getting a tribute to Steve Irwin there with that one, but I really do like it how it's like Steve Irwin. And I love the whole style of it with the koala bear. The koala bear is the best bit, really, in my opinion. It's just awesome. Uh, with the accessory bamboo as well, but the whole minifigure of this is really nice, basic, but really nice. I love the hat with the logo on top, headpiece, the hairpiece, sorry. Um, and the printing is just beautiful. I love this one. Next up we have the Potter. And this is a really different minifigure to what I was expecting from ever. I, d I never thought I'd ever see something like this, but I'm so glad that I am because just look at it. It looks great. I love the hairpiece, the headpiece. I don't know what you, you call that on top, but it's like a, like a do-rag sort of thing to keep her hair out of the, the mud clay. Uh, but I love how you have the pots and the also swirling stand. The stand where it spins around, which is really great. Uh, so that's great accessory. And then the printing on the front is nice with the apron and the, also the scalps and stuff. The scissors in the, in the pocket and also the mud splatters to show that it's just going everywhere as well. Because it's a very messy job. But I really, really like this minifigure. Never thought I'd see a potter in a minifigure series, but I'm so glad that I am. Next up we have the Rococo, Rococo? Aristocrat? I think I'm pronouncing it right. Very hard name, but this is like, this is very different. Look at that um, that bottom piece, that leg piece, it, that dress piece, it's really different. Um, never really seen something like that. It looks like a kind of like Lego Duplo um, piece, but <laughs> I really like it. And also the printing is really great, and I love the face printing of like the white, um, makeup on and the headpiece of like the wig and then is that a dog as well? I think that's a dog. Uh, I don't I don't really know what to say about this. It's a really cool minifigure to have. It's very unique in the minifigure style, especially with that um, torso piece, not torso piece, that leg piece, sorry. Um, I don't, yeah, I really like this minifigure. It's very different, but I'm, I'm very up for it. Next up we have the Rocking Horse Rider. Now this is such a cool little minifigure. Obviously you got the child minifigure with the unicorn printing on. The glasses as well on the face, which let me think, it's just a nice little feature, isn't it? And also the accessory Rocking Horse, which is really cool. I'm guessing it actually rocks and you can put her on it. I don't know, it's just different, isn't it? This is what I like about this series. It's very different to the normal 
to the normal series. Um, they're integrating so many unique ideas, and like to say, the Rocky Horse is a brilliant one. Not like, not my favourite out of the, the whole of them, but I like it. I'm, all, I'm, I'm very up for this one. So last but not least, we have the Newspaper Kid. Now this is probably one of my favourites from the set. They're going for that uh, Victorian Times Newspaper Kid. I just love it. I absolutely love it. I love the face printing of the kid. He just looks so cute. I just love it. And the hair, hair the hat piece is really nice. And the old clothes printing. They've really done a good job with like the 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 belts holding up the pants. I can't remember what that's called, I'm so sorry. Uh with the newspaper, obviously, and also he has like a slingshot, a, a handmade slingshot in his hand, which is just it's so stereotypical, but I really love it. Like that minifigure is probably one of my favourites. Um, I just really like that minifigure. That's definitely one that I'm going to be getting. Also, his bag. I like his bag. But his, his face printing is really, really cute. And just... I don't know. It just really brings out the personality in that kid. I, I don't know if you see what I've seen, but... I just love that minifigure. I'm going to say it. That's my favourite from the set. So, yes. That is all of the minifigures from the Series 24. So there you have it people, there are the 12 minifigures from the new for 2023 and they come out on the 1st of January, Series 24 minifigures. Is it the best minifigure series we've seen yet? I don't know, I think it could very much compete with some of the big ones. Uh, I really, 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 really cannot wait to get my hands on these minifigures. I think that, I'm going to go out there, I'm, I'm going to say it, I think it might be the best. Just might be. So yes, no, if you did enjoy this video, Please smash that thumbs up button. It will really help me to get some of these minifigures. Um, yes, so smash the thumbs up button and subscribe for some more content like this. And yes, we will be getting our hands on uh, these minifigures when they come out on the 1st of January. So yes, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.